to switch it. How about... doesn't stop you from launching into the adventure of building his own trebuchet without the help of an engineer's plans. His faithful companion, Richard Barr, gives him a hand. The two accomplices are quickly caught up in the game, and it's the car that amuses them the most. It requires very careful preparation. Having positioned the car on the takeoff track, it has to be solidly attached to a steel rope. Hugh doesn't trouble himself about making a few holes around the motor. He knows it's the most solid part of the vehicle and won't disintegrate at takeoff. All that remains is to lower the top of the arm at the end of which the car is fixed. At the other end is a counterweight weighing several tons which acts as a balancing pole. The trigger is engaged. Hugh gives the start signal. Right. Okay. Ready? The tractor frees the arm and the trebuchet starts moving. Tough luck for the sheep. Well, not bad, eh? Not bad. Smashed it up so, pretty nice. It yes. won't drive again anyway, I don't think. Not very well, no. Mm. But, uh, no that's fair enough, isn't it? Whenever they land on their wheels, they come down a bit, you know. They sort of Ja, ja, ja. Die meneer, die was, die helm op van